world where SIG 320 variants are all over the place, there's tons of different options out there, I think the SIG AXG Legion stands out from the rest of them. And it's probably one of my most favorite 320 variants that is available. And I wanna go into the, all the details of this pistol and show you why I think that. Before we go into some of the finer details of the SIG AXG Legion, I wanna cover some of the, let's say, basic features of this pistol that are very common amongst all the 320 pistols. This pistol does feature their flat trigger, which if you're not familiar with SIG's triggers, um, they're not the best in the market. However, they're not heavy and they do have a good overall pull weight. There's usually some mush, not a real clear and defined wall. You get back to a point, you're like, mm, it's probably the wall. It doesn't break very crisp or clean and then it breaks. Again, I don't think they're bad triggers. They're very shootable triggers. I find myself shooting them very well. But again, if you're trying to say it's like a Walther PDP trigger or something like that, it's not. It's just never gonna be that. Um, and I think that's overall due to the design of the trigger themselves. But again, this has the flat face trigger on this model here. The grip module itself is an aluminum grip module. So it's not the polymer that you're seeing. And if you're unfamiliar with 320s in general, the chassis system that's in here can be interchanged and switched through any other different grip module that you want. And ultimately, so I could take this trigger pack out of here and put it in a plastic module or something like that. But what I will say is that the aluminum module here found on the AXG Legion has a really, really nice feel to it. I had a SIG AXG Scorpion, was not a big fan of it. It kind of just felt chunky. And I won't say this is a whole lot different, but the grip panels that are on this AXG Legion, these G10 like rail scales type like this, they feel absolutely great. I mean, it is really really grippy is the best way i could put it texturing is fantastic i would say if you're familiar with like the 226 legion and things like that it's very similar to that however i think it feels even better than those and it's not all that much different but the back end on there is good grip textures on this pistol are really really nice and it's something that i can really appreciate especially if you're getting wet or dirty hands or you're wearing gloves or something like that it does feel nice with that being said the pistol itself if you're not familiar with the axg legion has a compensator built into the slide, or they're calling it an expansion chamber, where it's actually ported on the slide and the barrel itself is 3.9 inches. Overall length on the pistol is like a full-size duty gun and it feels good. It has a really, really buttery smooth slide, probably one of the smoothest 320 slides I've ever felt, and it feels really, really nice. And I think that's probably due in part to the fact of how the recoil spring is on here. The recoil spring in this pistol is not the dual captured recoil spring like you're gonna find in some of the smaller 320 variants or even Glock uses those. So it's just a single flat wire recoil spring, and I think that's what really lends it to be such a smooth cycling slide. The sights itself that come on here are SIG's X-ray three dot sights, where it's a green front sight, and then the back end is blacked out, but it is still tritium lamps and both those, let's say left and right side. It is optics cut on here, SIG, originally they had it to where you could only put Delta Point or let's say Romeo sights on there. Now you can put RMR and stuff on there because there are hole patterns for that. There are no recoil bosses though for putting a RMR on the pistol. However, with this particular model, I did scoop up the Romeo 1 Pro to put it on the pistol. And I will say right out of the gate, it feels really nice. It looks great on the pistol. And overall functionality of the glass on the Romeo 1 Pro is absolutely fantastic. And I think it's pretty much unmatched when it comes to some of the other ones. There's no blue notch filter and thing like that that lends it so it's not bright. And it has a nice large window with a very, very crisp dot. But if you're somebody that doesn't want to shoot a red dot, it does have fantastic sights on it already. However, what I will say with this red dot, these sights that come on the pistol do not co-witness with the red dot. If you're not familiar though with the SIG X macro, we did do a review on that one, which unfortunately was removed by YouTube. However, the pistol itself was a very, very flat shooting pistol. And I think that this SIG AXG Legion will be no exception to that. I think it's actually gonna shoot, let's say comparable to that, but obviously in a full size pistol frame. And I'm, I'm gonna be impressed by it. I can already tell you right now because of how it feels and how the grip textures are, the front and rear slide serrations or cocking serrations are good and aggressive. There's a Legion symbol across the top of the slide. The pistol itself is expensive. They, they're about $1,500 for this pistol. So you can expect to spend a lot, but the pistol, feels of good quality. It has a really, really nice feel in your hand. It feels like it should cost that much. I've picked up guns before that cost that much and they don't feel like they should cost that much, let alone shoot like they cost that much. And then finally here on the pistol, you do have a magazine well on there. It's an aluminum style like that, which interfaces really, really well with the 321 round magazines that you get with the pistol. Another thing that I can appreciate about it is that it does come with 321 round mags. A lot of pistols will only come with two magazines. The fact that this comes with three and they're extended 21 rounders, they interface perfectly with that and it's a really nice design. And honestly, for this pistol, 
I would love to be able to carry this thing as a duty pistol and I haven't even shot it yet. So let's run out on the range. We're gonna see how this pistol shoots. After we shoot this thing a little while, I'm gonna compare it to a full size duty pistol 320 with no comp reported slide. And we'll compare it side by side to see how the two shoot. But otherwise, we'll run a ton of rounds through this thing, make sure it functions reliably with whatever 115 grain crap you wanna throw through it and possibly even some duty loads. With the SIG AXG Legion, uh, big fan of this thing so far. I've shot it a little bit on the range. Recoil is very minimal. Um, there's some things I wanna do with it in regards to it being possibly a duty pistol. If you wanted to carry this pistol, I think you could. And I think it will probably end up being a very reliable pistol. But some things people have asked us about comps and ports before in the past is how do they feel under close quarters retention shooting or you know tuck position or close, close range, do you feel that? And so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna shoot this pistol at close quarters retention. And it's not something I recommend for everybody. It's something that only if you're trained you should be doing this or get training to do it because it can be dangerous, but it has to be done the right way. So again, I'm gonna shoot this pistol from close quarters retention and we'll see if we get that blow back or how that muzzle break or that comp ported slide affects me. Yeah, I mean, I'm not noticing like at close quarters retention, I'm not noticing anything different with this pistol that I noticed with my 3.9 inch, you know, carry size 320. I mean, I'm not noticing that like, that the, this pistol itself feels like I'm getting a bunch of blowback from that muzzle brake or that comp on it. Yeah, not at all. I mean, you come on over here. So, I mean, like at the, you know, when you're close quarters retention, you tuck the pistol back in, you can't the slide or the, the gun itself. So the slide doesn't come back and hit any gear you're wearing. And then you, you protect your face. And here, you know, I'm shooting the pistol, I think because really your gases are being ported away from you in the first place. And, you know, some people have been taught to tuck the pistol and you shoot it like this. That's improper because you won't be able to clear all your gear, especially if we're in body armor. So you tuck the pistol, you can it, bring your arm up and it's, it's directing the gases away from my face. I'm not noticing anything whatsoever as far as for, you know, the ports here on the slide blowing gas in my face. And so overall at the beginning, excellent. We're at a short distance now. What I'm gonna work on is a failure drill. So that's two to the chest and one to the head with the pistol. Overall, it's a good drill too to help show how the pistol mitigates recoil itself. In addition to that, it's a wonderful way to practice because you know, theoretically, if you had somebody wearing body armor, you're gonna have to make a headshot because two chest shots and body armor will not kill them. So it's a wonderful drill for police officers, really anybody that's defense minded. What I noticed when I'm finding myself too with the pistol is there is such a lack of recoil and I felt myself do this before on other pistols is that sometimes I'll find myself almost overcompensating for a recoil that's not going to happen. And you know, that's shooter air and could be, you know, corrected and fixed. But the pistol itself, I mean, it just shoots so damn flat. It's a really, really easy shooting pistol. And you know, for, you know, I'll, I'll say is that if you're a shooter that struggles with recoil because maybe you're not so strong and not not all recoil you know control comes from strength but if you're somebody that struggles with recoil and you feel like you're doing anything right and maybe you've gotten everything right and you still just don't like recoil this is gonna be a pistol for you we're gonna continue shooting this pistol right now i'm gonna do a build drill with a reload in it so it's gonna be six reload six so let's see how we do Four, eight, five total time, one, one, six on the draw. So split times were about at 019, so that's good. Next thing I'm gonna do, this is gonna be three shots reload and, and three rounds on the target here. Again, I'm trying to get all A zone hits for the most part, and then we're at about 21 feet, seven yards, so build drill, actual distance. Again, we'll do it on the time. The pistol is running absolutely perfectly. It's very, very easy to shoot. It's very easy to be quick with. Reload wise, what I've done so far, it's really nice. The magwell itself makes it really nice for doing those reloads. The button's easy to get. It's, the button feels really nice on these AXG models in general. It's a nice, let's say serrated aluminum or steel button. 
and it's not like the triangular size one that you get on some of the polymer frames and it feels good i really really like it and right now today it's about 91 degrees in ohio and a freaking sweaty as heck but i've noticing that like even with my sweaty hands right now i'm not losing any grip under recoil which some of that's due to how the grip is but also in addition to that how the pistol actually mitigates recoil using the ports or comp here on the slide itself Right now, I'd say we're about three quarters of the way through the range day um, with this AXG Legion. It's shooting absolutely fantastic. I did have one, let's say, quote unquote, light primer strike, except the primer on that, that round itself was absolutely hammered. So I think it's honestly an ammo issue with that. Um, the ammo I have right now is we some Winchester white box, the Winchester range ready stuff. Um, and then also we have some Norma, but most of the stuff I'm shooting is just some crappy 115 grain stuff. And the pistol itself is cycling and functioning and all that good stuff just like you would expect. And I would love to carry this thing as a duty pistol. We push back now a little further. I'm gonna do shooting some steel here now with the AXG Legion. After I shoot this a little bit, I'm actually gonna take a full size 320. That's nearly identical to this pistol, except it's not a Legion. It's not a steel frame or aluminum frame. And it also does not have a comp. And I'll shoot side by side. And we'll get some little slow motion camera action for you so that you can actually see the difference between the two of them. So this pistol here itself, this is a standard full size 320. It does have a Wilson Combat grip module on it, but then in addition to that, it does have some grip weights actually in the mirror, so it's a little bit heavier than a standard one. But overall, it's very comparable because the slide length and the size of the pistol. So, you know, between the two of them, let's see how the two shoot differently. Right off the gate right there, I gotta say is that the magwell on that AXG Legion feels really, really nice. Now for my own personal duty pistol, I do use the Wilson Combat one and I really like it. However, that magwell on that AXG Legion, just right away, as soon as I did that reload, I could tell the difference. Now what I'm gonna do after I've shot both of these side by side is I'm gonna load up each one of them with about 10 rounds, shoot them back to back right after each other so we can see that recoil difference. But what I'll tell you is that without a doubt, this Legion, this AXG Legion, is definitely recoiling considerably less than this pistol here. And you know, again, they're the same size pistols with a nearly identical lights, optics are about the same, and the Legion model itself is a far more forgiving and less recoiling pistol. And I think it's an excellent trade-off for that little bit of extra weight that you're getting. And again, if I could choose this as a duty pistol for myself over my standard 320, I would. First up, we're gonna shoot the standard 320 full size. Next up, SIG AXG Legion. Definitely can tell the difference in recoil impulse and how the, the pistol recoils itself. The Legion is considerably less. I can really feel that. And I hope it translates on camera for you guys to see as well. What's probably one of the nicest things about it though, is that when you're shooting a red dot, is that the red dot itself never actually leaves the optic window when I'm shooting the Legion versus when I'm shooting this pistol, it leaves the window. So basically what that means is as it recoils, I lose the dot and as it comes back down, I find it again. With the Legion, it's ultimately never really leaving. I'm always seeing it somewhat in that optic window. And how that really translates, if you're wanting to shoot fast, you can ultimately shoot faster with that Legion because you can find that dot faster. And ultimately too, between the two of them, I would definitely pick 
the SIG AXG Legion. You know, do I think that the high price tag at $1,500 is for everybody? No, I don't. Um, but do I think that the Legion is a fantastic pick pistol? Yes, and it shoots really, really well. It shoots flat, and for me, this is hands down my most favorite SIG 320 I've ever shot, and this is a keeper for sure. So if you guys like what you saw today, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.